My name is Kate Monahan. I'm the Assistant Communications Director for the Archdiocese of New York. Today, we're going to walk you through and show you what Pope Francis will see when he gets here on September 24th, as well as some nooks and crannies that the public might not have seen yet. When he gets here, he will stand in front of our historic bronze doors that weigh 9,200 pounds each and yet can be moved with the just with your finger. When the Pope gets here, he'll be the fifth Pope to visit St. Patrick's Cathedral, and this will make St. Patrick's the most visited church by a Pope outside of Italy. And he'll come inside and he will be presented with a crucifix right here in this open area here. And he will also be given holy water to bless the roughly 2,500 people waiting to see him. And then we think that he will come down the main aisle and walk through these gates. And waiting for him in the sanctuary, which is where we're standing now, will be many cardinals and bishops and priests. First he's going to go to the back of the cathedral and say a prayer in front of the Eucharist. And when he turns around and returns to the sanctuary to actually pray the Vespers, he'll come out and he'll see this beautiful rose window right here and a cathedral full of people waiting to pray with him. So right here you can see the tabernacle where we have a symbol of the body and blood of Jesus. The Pope will be kneeling here and saying a prayer. These are where the archbishops of New York are buried. And a layman, the only non-priest, Pierre Toussaint, he's from Haiti, he was a slave. He acquired his freedom and also bought his wife's freedom and many other relatives and friends freedom by working as a hairdresser to the wealthy in New York City. We hope that he is soon declared a saint. Right now we're in the sacristy of St. Patrick's Cathedral and this is where priests and deacons vest and get ready. If you look at these tables that we have set up here, you can see some of the priest vestments. Here we also have a little chapel that's called the Sacristy Chapel. As far as I know, there's only one statue of St. Francis, and he is right in this chapel, right above the door. And of course, Pope Francis is the only pope who is named after St. Francis of Assisi. Thank you for joining us today. We're so happy that you're able to see the steps that Holy Father is going to take, and we ask that you keep him in prayer and the Archdiocese of New York in prayer.